What's good, what's good? It's your boy Drama House A Game Entertainment 216 the movement we move with your dig. <laughs> hey man, just finished watching that um murder move and motherfucking um Tay Rock battle on caffeine, man. Big ups to caffeine and on um, URL, man. TV for doing their thing once again, man. All the battles was decent, man. You understand me? But this didn't this didn't do the hype, you feel me? This didn't beat the hype out, man, right here because this battle was like personal and they was saying a lot of the shit that, that they were saying at the motherfucking face-off. I really ain't like that, you feel me? Like, they were saying some of the same shit that they were saying at the face-off the exact same way. It was like, uh, this battle ain't that hot to me, you feel me? And like, it was times where I could have just like, like I wanted to stand up and walk off to do something right quick, but I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna be that disrespectful. Let me hear this shit all the way out. You feel me? But I did walk out doing Tay Rock last third because I knew he lost that round already. That's the only reason, and it didn't sound like he was about to go into no spectacular shit. And even if he did, he lost that round. You feel me? That was the best round of the, of the of the battle right there. That third round move drop. He touched on subjects and then he jumped off and touched on another one. Jumped off and touched on another one. He never lost really. He never really lost you. It might have been a dry spot in there somewhere where you just like, you know what I'm saying? But like a dry spot, not nothing that because you wanted you wanted to keep hearing rap. At a time though, like damn, this nigga like going. This the shit we was looking for right here. See, Mook didn't do that shit every round. He played played it sweet. He gave you probably like what three to five or six ball. I mean, um, yeah, um, round minute rounds and jumped out or the slogan each time. And then the last round, bang. You know what I'm saying? He hit the nigga with a haymaker. I felt like. Both of them started off slow. Mook started off first, but it really didn't, it didn't hit like that. You feel me? It didn't hit like what we thought it was gonna hit like. It was just Mook. But it was good, but it just didn't hit like the way you wanted it hit, wanted it to hit, the way the we was pumping that shit. Not me, but the media was pumping that shit and everybody pumping that shit, you feel me? But Rock just came off a battle with Daylight, so that's why I was thinking like, you know, like you just don't, re you just don't recover that quick for a move after a Daylight and Daylight was on this shit. That just don't make sense, you feel me? So when I say that, I say this, Rock first round, Simple, like simple words and shit. Like he was battling a regular nigga, man. That's why I had him losing that first round because it was like he was saying shit like he was battling chess or or or, or, or bad news or some motherfucking body. You feel me? That's how, and he had better performances against both of them, both of them than he had against this Mook nigga. You feel me? The greatest, his, his shit wasn't as good because I think he had me covered from that daylight battle yet. I think this was too soon. I think Briz should have took this and it would have been a better battle if Briz would have took this shit because he ain't rapped in a while. But Mook, being Mook, knowing how to move, this was nothing to Mook. You feel me? He started off slow and he built up until he got to that third and he knocked motherfucking Rock head off. Rock got busy in the second. Rock start turning up. I'm like, oh yeah, this rock round. Cause after um Mook went, I'm like, this rock round, you know, rock is the second round. So you I could make it debatable, but maybe Rock did get that second round. I think it was he could have got it, you feel me? But um <coughs> my fucking mess. Um but um 
rock started turning up. Like rock was saying, like the shit rock was saying in the second. I'm like, damn, why the fuck he wasn't saying this type of shit in the first round? If he'd have been rapping like this in the first round, he'd have easily took that round. So I really didn't understand that. So maybe Rock did get the second, but in the end of that round, it started falling back down to them simple words and shit, unless I just didn't get it. You feel me? So I'm gonna give Rock the second round, <coughs> and I'm gonna give um, Moot the first round, and then I gotta give Moot the third round because Moot just was touching on, touching home, man. He had, he was just touching home. He, he had rock heated too, with that gay shit and all the other shit. He had rock heated. You can see it, rock. You know when rock heated, he tried to turn up and be doing all that shit and all that. But the words that he was saying just didn't match this. Didn't match all that shit he be doing when he turned up. It wasn't no no hard schemes. No, no it wasn't nothing like no build ups like the the, the 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 razor come out. It was none of that type of shit. You get up and cut. You ain't get none of that. Uh uh. You ain't get none of that. When you see hollow inside the box, it is not empty. It, you ain't get none of that. Uh uh. Enough's enough. I want some other stuff. I put these. No, mm -mm, none of that was in there. Mm -mm. None of that shit was in there, bro. Real talk against the greatest. Against the greatest. And guess what? All the greatest had to do was bring the ball up the court smoothly. One, two, whatever. Fade in your face. He ain't have to do all that other shit. Because he the GOAT. He talked about how he get paid. Man, he, the shit he was saying, man, in that third, man, was a soul snatcher. I got Mook taking this battle. 2 1, maybe 3 0. You might give Tay Rock the, the second round. Shit, you might give him the first, but I don't see how. And your damn show sure couldn't give him the third, you feel me? So, 2 1, murder Mook, maybe 3 0, but not a body. Um, on the scale, I give it like a C minus or something like that. Um, the champ came to work, and I think. Rock hadn't recovered from the last fight, and that's why we didn't get the rock that we should have got. This battle should have happened in 2021. It would have been a better rock, believe that, because I don't think rock recovered from the daylight battle yet to get his mind all the way right to come up with shit that he needed to come up with against the GOAT. And this battle was easy for the GOAT. You feel me? He knew what it was going to be. I ain't got to do nothing extra. He ain't had to do nothing extra. And that's why he the GOAT, man. Mook, man. Mook took this. And when you watch him, Mook, you like, yeah, he could still do this shit with anybody. Because he know what he doing. He know what he doing. And in a room with nobody in it, you really in trouble. Now, I was thinking to myself, when Moot was rapping, put a crowd behind that shit. Might sound like the, might sound like the basic Moot. You might start thinking like, yeah, man, this nigga Moot, he ain't that, he ain't that good. But then, now you took the crowd away, you get to listening, you like, yeah, he ain't that good, but I don't think niggas might go fuck with him. <laughs> you feel me? How you not that good, but, like, a nigga say, yeah, he ain't that good, but, I don't think niggas could fuck with him. <laughs> Cause he that good. He just, the, it's the hype that make you believe other shit. You looking for, for motherfucking rainbows and stars to come out of nigga ass. Don't work like that, man. Basic shit win, man. I don't lose win. Easy shit. Easy, nigga. It's slow. It tell you, easy. And he be for real, he, I just did you. Nigga, easy. And I get the bigger check. The Mook man, man. Yeah, Harlem, man. Harlem, man. We in the building, man. Real talk, man. Battle rap's over here, man. I'm about to start doing more blogs and all that. You feel me? This the setup right now. You feel me? That, that, that little shit, that intro I gave y'all, that's the setup right now. You feel me? Until I get where I'm going, nigga. Nigga, I've been living in a hotel for like... Going on four months, nigga, I done spent about five racks in this bitch. Niggas know, we posting shit on Facebook and shit, man. 
I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucked up in a minute if shit don't move the way I need to move. <laughs> yeah, ain't gonna be no blocks or nothing. <laughs> this ain't even my motherfucking shit I usually record on, man. This is some old cheap style of sick shit, man. Shit ugly right now, man. I don't want a fucking budget, man. And I like to party. You feel me? So you gotta, I gotta pay a hotel fare every fucking day. And I like to party. <laughs> and I like to get fresh. And I did, you know, I don't eat meat no more, but I still like to eat, you feel me? Then I got a, my bitch and all that shit and my kids, you feel me? I ain't got nothing but two, 21-year-old and a two-year-old. I just started all over. <laughs> you dig?